Okay, we got to go fast because Bonnie's going to jump in again. Typical Hollywood, <laughs> they continue to portray villains in a negative light, specifically fictional evil characters mostly have bad skin. Look at the Wicked Witch of the West. She's green and ugly. That's not cool. <laughs> a new study by a team of dermatologists notes that depictions like these perpetuate and magnify negative self-image that people with skin disease may harbor. The research found six of the top ten villains in film have some type of skin condition. For instance, hair loss, Hannibal Lecter and Darth Vader, dark circles under the eyes, as well as wrinkles, Darth Vader and the Queen, facial scars, Darth Vader and Reagan McNeil, bulbous nose, the Queen. Meanwhile, heroes are always portrayed as gorgeous. Look at that. The Rock. Wow. They're all masters of their media. John, uh, do, do, uh, do, do you think media depictions affect how people feel about themselves? No. <laughs> I mean, these things are perceived as negative by somebody who's five or six years old. Do I have a daughter who's five and she didn't get it from any of these media depictions because she hasn't seen them? These things are based on what people already think. And frankly, if you're talking about art, if you're talking about popular art, you have to work in shorthand. And so sometimes there's going to have to be one of these things to say, this person is not supposed to be the hero. That's not going to foster views which would exist even if nobody had ever seen Snow White or Patriot yeah, Games right. or anything else. I don't think it's just, uh, the hair loss on Darth Vader. I feel like it's the costume. You know what I, yes, <laughs> listen, you know what I hate the most about all this? I've said this before on the show, but it's like, there are so many things to really be outraged about if you're yeah. looking for an issue. There. there you go. Like, why, why are we not... The, the story's been put out by teenagers. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, that, was, that, that was where the study came from? Yeah, yeah. Jill. Yeah. A bunch of teenagers. Look, uh, do, do you think that villains should, you know, look nicer? And I understand as a dermatologist, if you have a patient who You're a says, dermatologist? No. <laughs> I heard it that way, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm a doctor and a person who reports about herself a lot. No, if one, was a, if one were a dermatologist, I understand thinking, oh, it's upsetting to my patients that a witch always has a wart on her nose, and my patient with a wart on her nose feels upset. I get that. That's compassionate. But Hollywood has to depict someone. It's a visual medium, yeah. movies and TV. You have to depict them in a way that visually sounds scary. That's why you're in radio, right, Sam? Yeah, I have like two, if not three, of those things. Mm -hmm. And it puts people in a bad mood, always, when they realize that yeah. they have those things. And that's why villains are villainous. If they were beautiful, they'd be heroes. 